family and welcome back to Cloud9 Blessings, the channel that brings dreams, visions, and near-death experiences visually to you. I hope that you are all having a very blessed day. Before we get started in this video, if you have had an urgent rapture dream, vision, tribulation dream, or even a near-death experience and would like to share it with the channel and have made into a video just like this, please email your video to cloud9blessings at gmail.com and I will feature it in an upcoming video. In today's video, we are going to be looking at a submission emailed in by our dear brother in Christ, Joseph, where he wanted to share with us a vision along with his dream. So let's now take a look and see what our brother in Christ, Joseph, saw. Hello all. This is uh, Joseph Riley back again. Um, now, this morning was interesting. I had a both a message from the Lord Jesus Christ and an open vision. So I'm going to go go over the um, the message first. Then we're going to go into the open vision. Um, I received it really, uh, like hours ago, just a few hours ago or so, and I got this message and he said to me in my, my mind, in my thoughts, he spoke to me in my mind and my thoughts and he went, Joseph, the timing of my coming is near. He said that to me this morning. So he is pretty much telling us that the timing of the rapture of the church is near. So that pretty much tells us that um, mm -hmm. time is pretty much up and that he's coming back at any time now to take his church home and to rain down judgment upon this whole world for their rejection against the Lord. Then I received an open vision. We were watching TV and all of a sudden I received an open vision where there was a figure, imagine this, there was a figure right here and then on both sides of him was uh, angels. The figure in the middle, I think, represents Jesus Christ. He was wearing a white robe, and I couldn't see his face, but he had wings on him, and on both sides were white fi figures and white robes standing on each of the side of him, and they were in the sky, and the Lord had a gold... Um, a gold glow to him. And it was like a translucent vision. I mean, I could see clearly right through it. It was not one of those opaque type visions. I could easily, it just came out of nowhere for a couple of seconds and then it just went away. So they, this pretty much tells me the Lord is opening my spiritual eyes and ears. And because pretty much um, the other night I had a dream where we were all where there was pilots piloting spaceships and all of a sudden I noticed the sky started changing from a dark blue to a really light blue color I mean lighter than any type of color I've ever seen and there was this voice that was calling certain groups of people to come home and so the dream ended with us flying the spaceships to heaven and landing at the feast table. So we landed, there was one person that landed at a table in heaven. Wow. And then that's when that dream ended. So the Lord has been opening my spiritual eyes and ears trying to tell me that he is coming very, 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 very soon. Um, 
I don't believe we have time left. If we do, it's very short, and which I don't think we have any time left. The Lord is coming soon, very soon. And I believe we are that generation that will see his coming. So this is uh, Joseph Riley signing off. So much, Brother Joseph, for sharing your vision and dream with the channel. They were so very encouraging and we needed so much now that we are so close to Jesus Christ's return to take us to meet him in the air. It is so exciting, brothers and sisters, that Christ is coming soon and many brothers and sisters in Christ are having dreams and visions, as it says in Acts 2.17. And a lot of them are not only warnings, but they are encouragement because many are seeing cars and trains and way of transportation and even being in planes and them taking them to heaven to be with the Lord in the air. And I do believe that it is definitely symbolic, but it's something that we can relate to being transported and being with him. But we will be taken up to the sky to meet him in the air. And I am so excited and I'm sure many of you are as well. Well, I hope that this video has blessed each and every one of you. May God bless you all family and have a very blessed week. I now want to share with you a beautiful poem that was emailed in by our dear sister in Christ, Lauren. And in her email, it says, Hello, Amber. I hope that this finds you well. The Lord gave me this poem, and I hope that you can read it and share for encouragement on your channel, especially for those who are weary like me. I count your tears, yes, one by one, and I'll continue until I'm done. As sadness consumes, I hold you in my arms. Your prayers like fumes, I'll keep you from harm. I'll never let go because you are mine. It's soon time to go, you and me, so divine. They're stored here in heaven awaiting your return. They represent the leaven that will be left to burn. I'm already beside you. I know you believe. Say bye to the hurt. It's soon time to leave. Take my hand. Let me lead. The promised land is where you'll be. No more tears. No more pain. No more sorrow. Only gain. Look up, my child. I know you see the finish line for which you plead. I understand and I cry too, blood and sweat to rescue you. I am your savior. I am your friend. I am your God. We never end. So just let go of all that weight. You'll soon be home. I am at the gate to welcome you, to take you in. Where all is new, it's home heaven. From your sister in Christ, Lauren. I want to send a huge thank you to our sister in Christ, Lauren, for sharing this very beautiful poem that the Lord gave her. Thank you so much, sister. It truly touched my heart, and I truly hope that it blesses everyone who sees this video today. May God bless you all, family, and have a very blessed week.